As you can see behind me, we made it to the U.S.-Mexico border. That's the wall, and uh, let's check it out. Looks like there's a gap right here. Should I cross? I don't think anybody will see me. Let's check it out. Welcome to Mexico. To Mexico, Mexico. Deep southern Texas, and this has got to be one of the craziest RV parks we've been to. So this river behind me is actually the U.S.-Mexico border. That, that land on the other side is Mexico. And there's actually border patrol inside the RV park. How's it going? How's it going, guys? I was just wondering if I could ask you, what is that thing? I've never seen that before. No, I got you. All right, so now we're in downtown McAllen, Texas, and we're gonna have a look around, check it out, see what's going on in McAllen. Me invitaron a una fiesta de taco hoy. Un señor de una fiesta que va a hacer tacos y comida. Y quiero llevarle un regalo. Es un, un señor mexicano. No tienes idea de qué lo, lo puedo pues aquí llevar. Aquí adentro está la perfumería. Si gusta pasar para adentro. Por ahí está la puerta. ¿Perfume? Sí. Ah, pero ten, yo no sé si perfume. Pues perfume. No lo conozco tanto. Hay perfume, pues hay baratos y hay caros. Ajá. Le puedo regalar como de 20 dólares. No, es que yo quería llevarle algo más interesante. ¿tú sabes? Algo... Hay lentes, tienen gorras. Ok. Uh, pues tienen de variedad. Ah, gorras. Sí, gorras. ¿Puedo pasar a ver lo que sí, tiene? Sí, claro okay. que sí, ahí está el muchacho. Gracias. Gracias. Sí, ahí está el muchacho. Gracias. 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 Hey, how are you? How are you? So they sent me back to see you. I'm, uh, I got invited to a little taco party today. Yeah, invited to a taco party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking, at, I don't want to show up empty handed. I want like a little gift to take. Okay. So do you have any suggestions? Any? Yeah. I don't know the guy all I mean, that well. Clones are good, right? Shit. Yeah, she mentioned that too. You I'll got a press on it also. Is that recording? Yes, it is. That's nice. Is that all right? That's fine, this guy's my good side, you know? Okay. No problem. You got it, man. You, which side is that? No. I mean, all sides. I make sure I stay on that side. I should have shaved No, this is, you know, this is my son. This is my son. We're traveling, man. So we're just nice to meet you, man. taking nice to meet you, and enjoying right, the day, you know? Sure. Right yeah, so give me a warning next time, man, so I can shave and look good for this, you know? No, don't shave that beard off, whatever you do. <laughs> Keep that. All right. Um, I'm just so what's your question for the song? Well, I don't and know about... It for, it's for a guy, he's probably about 60 years old, Mexican guy, and I just, you know, I want to... Like I said, I want to show up empty-headed. She mentioned you had hats, I don't know if maybe you have some... Yeah, yeah, but then he had a doctor's appointment today, so I'm going to go So, yep, check this one out, man. Well, like I said, I don't know if perfumes are right there. You don't know if perfumes are the right there for the guy? Yeah, 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 I don't know. Why, everybody wants to smell good, man. That's true. Everybody does want to smell good. He's going to be working with tacos and shit. He's going to fucking eat it. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Yeah, like I said, I, don't, I just don't. Yeah, I can do forty bucks on that, man. So it won't break the bank on it either. <laughs> I, I just want to find him the right thing. I just, like I said, I just don't think that. Uh, I don't think perfumes were it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna uh, keep looking, but if we find, if we don't find anything, I'll come back and see. All right, for All right, sure, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. And then I said to him, "Oh, you don't have any hats?" And he goes, "Oh no, he's out today, so I'm here." I said, what? What's <laughs> that even mean? <laughs> Perfume, man. Everybody does want to smell these, right? Another perfume. Too. It's like a common thing. They got like the little food stand with the perfume store. Yeah. In. Hey. <laughs>
Another perfume store. Wow, look at that, dude. 11 bucks. <laughs> you get, you get, po Cuban <laughs> get Poncho with a $10 gold chain, dude. Well, you send it, get him the $12 one. <laughs> Guys, I'm a trip tour of that mother, Marisol, the beautiful man and woman. You, you know what I'm looking for? Maybe you can help me out. I got invited to a taco party tonight. Okay. Okay? And I, it's a guy about 60 years old, Mexican guy. Okay. And I don't want to show up empty handed. I want to take him a gift. Okay. You got any ideas? Yeah. What do you got? Not perfume. No. Okay. That, show me what you got. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. We got jackets right here. Okay. We got finger jackets. And hey, keep in mind, this is a guy I just met a couple of days ago. So. Okay, okay. We got finger jackets, we got shoes. Okay. The shoes, I don't know what shoes are. Jacket, I might be able to. We got caps, we got pants, we got shorts. Yeah, what do you got? What kind of caps you got? We, uh, everybody wears hats, right? Right, we got, uh, I think I can get him a full cool hat. We got jerseys too. Pants with uh, foot pants. Oh, yeah, jerseys, huh? Yes. Got any Texas teams? Houston or Texas? Houston would be good. Let me see what he got for you. Let me see what he got for you, brother. Okay. And I would say he's probably, what would you say, XL? I don't know. Probably. I'd say probably actually. I'm gonna leave But hey, I, I, I recommend a jacket of color would be better for him. What do you think about this one? Okay. Not the little small one, he's a bigger guy than I am. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And this for you because you came in, I'll leave it to you for twelve ninety eight. Twelve dollars and ninety eight cents. Okay. All right. What was your name? Hesael. 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 Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. And we'll close at seven. So it's two thirty. I'll be back way before seven. An hour or two the most. Next door, I have a vintage store. A what kind of store? Vintage. Vintage. Okay. Cool. Okay. Maybe you know this. All right. Cool. So we'll stop by and see you on the way back. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Cool. Found some bottles of water here. So see if I can find my cash. <laughs> Water? Thank you. Hello. Oh, they got the frozen can of seeds. Tiene la buena marca. Huh? La buena marca. O sea, que a mí me encanta. Okay. Gracias. ¿Cómo le va? Muy bien, ¿y ustedes? Muy bien, gracias. Oh, they got the Gancitos. <laughs> Gancitos for the Emma Gancitos. Okay, fine. Oh, he's got a pink thing on. That's great. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't recording that. Do you believe that? What, the whole time I've been in the store? Yeah. How'd you do that? I don't know. Alright, so I got my bottle of water just waiting for my chin. Which I have? Also here. Who? Oh, we're making a video for YouTube. Ah, okay. El turista. Y ahí viajando. ¿De dónde? De Nueva York. Originalmente. Pero llevamos cinco años en la calle viajando un RV. It's nice. Muy tranquilo. Sí. Sí, 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 sí. Creo que sí. sí, sí. Y, oh, ¿Tú sabes que a lo mejor me puede ayudar con algo? Un señor, porque nos estamos quedando en el parque de, de los trailers, de los RVs, sí. aquí. Y un señor, tiene como sesenta y pico años mexicano, me, nos invitaron a comer tacos en su casa hoy. Entonces quiero llevarle algo, no quiero llegar con las manos vacías. Entonces, ¿no tienes idea quién le puede llevar? 
Yo lo conozco de ayer. Tú sabes, entonces no sé. No sé qué le gusta, no sé el tamaño de él. No tengo idea. No, no. Perdón. Un, una botella de agua. Todo el mundo quiere uno de esos. ¿De vino? ¿Una de vino? De vino, sí. Ah, vino. Un vino de mesa. Sí, muy bien. Sí, un vino yeah. tinto, un vino blanco. Y venden, venden por aquí vino mexicano. Oh, Ay, no, 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 no hay. Aquí yo no sé dónde. O el vino mexicano es la corona. <risa> la cerveza. La cerveza. <risa> Bueno, Eso es bueno, seguimos en la lucha buscando, pero muchas gracias. Lo Suerte. Gracias. gracias. Muy bien. gracias. 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 Lucha libre, ¿me hace? ¿Crees que soy un weirdo? Excuse me, that's the last time I invite anybody over for talk. Uh oh, oh. Take your time. Oof. You might have saved me four dollars. Um, Thank you. Have a good day. Why? Why? I put my information in that thing. Do you have your receipt? It didn't give me a receipt, but I don't think it has to give you a receipt. It happens. I hope you have a better day. Yeah, yeah. Good. Mm. Right on, man. How are you? Hey. What's happening? Very fine, right what's, here. What's good? Everything's good here, here in McAllen. Right on. You live here? Yes, but for me it's more Spanish than English. Aquí. Can I? What, speak Spanish? Yes. Come on. Está mejor aquí. Aquí está muy bien. Aquí es el centro y puedes ver muchas cosas y mucha variedad. Okay. Thank you. ¿Y cuántos años lleva acá? Oh, I was born in California, but raised all my life in Mexico. Oh, there you go. In Mexico? Yeah. ¿Y cuándo moraste para acá? Uh, I'm coming back, going Oh, yeah. Oh, entonces todavía está viviendo allá en México. Así es. Ah, qué bueno. Bueno, mucho gusto. Yo me llamo Jason. Jason, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Pasa buen día. Igualmente, chicos. Begin with silver suit. That's mostly women's stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, all. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep looking at it. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Historical Museum, McAllen Heritage Center, La Placita. Oh, I couldn't see you there. <laughs> how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Good. How's it going? You want me to visit the museum? Well, we didn't even know what it was, so we just poked our head in okay. to see what was going on. Can you tell us about it, what see, it is? So, uh, we're a museum for the city of McAllen. Okay. Um, we've been here about 15 years. Okay. And we're a free museum, so you're free to visit any time. We usually open to Wednesday through Saturday. Okay. And uh, so we'll see about it. Uh, so, while other museums are more focused about the, I'd say, the regional history, there's a museum in Edinburgh that's more focused on the regional history of McAllen. There's also a few other local museums specific to cities. We're specific to the city of McAllen. Gotcha. And that has its own history. Okay, very cool. So, all right. So, so you're going this way and just loop yeah, around? Yeah, it'll take you around through here. This will take you to a chronological exhibit of the history of McAllen. Oh, so cool. we don't have any questions at all, history or museum related. Okay. And otherwise, you're free to explore. Very cool. What was your name? David. David Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, the camera exhibit. Yep. See ya. Hey guys, how are you? You know what? Good. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. Good. You so, wanted wine or beer? No, I wanted something interesting. Something, something to make them smile, you know? I figure if I ask enough people, somebody will have a good idea. Strippers. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> I, I, I want to have a wife tomorrow when I wake up. But it's not for, for you, it's for him. Well, yeah, tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a regular McCown, or I guess regular Monopoly board game, but with 
linked it with the local sites. That's awesome. Throughout the board. So. Fantastic. I think I found my gift for Poncho. Okay. Sounds good. Very cool. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm Thank sure you. you our building is kind of a standout landmark around here. Very official looking. It was built back in 1935. Okay. And uh, originally the plot of land was owned by a gentleman named Mr. Morris Nelson. If you look across right there, uh, this used to be a J.C. Penney owned by Mr. Nelson. Okay. And so it's been remodeled recently. We've been in museums since 2008. And uh, I'd say we're the go-to spot for McAllen history. Did so, you grow up here? I, I did not. I, I'm actually from the... Uh, a few, few cities down in a place called Alamo. Okay, because I was just going to say your yeah. your enthusiasm and your love for this town is, is impressive. It's my love of history. I okay. Think. It's my love of history, and I think McAllen has a pretty unique history of its own. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty neat region where you have a, a blend of Spanish, Mexican, a little bit of Southern culture, a little bit of Southwest, all in this one unique area. It's like, it's like a crossroads. It makes it very interesting. It, it's, sure. it's a crossroads region for Mexico and the United States. Speaking of which, let me ask you a quick question. Yes. If we want to cross over and go into Mexico, yes. is it dangerous? Do we have to worry about anything? Well, from what I understand, there is a lot of cartel activity there. Okay. Um, I want to go to Matamoros. That's across Brownsville. I want to go there. Okay. Um, I'll get back to you on that. I mean, you could do it. I would, I would advise against it. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thank you Absolutely. so much. I appreciate the uh, Monopoly board, yes, sir. all course. the information, and yeah, a great me, stop, man. If you have any questions, if you want any pamphlets or anything, I have some more information inside. We'll come back in and see. Yeah, sounds Excellent. good. Thank all you, right. sir. Thank appreciate you. It. Have a good day. Let's see what's up. Flower show. That's cool, huh? Did we go into that Western store over there? Nope. Thank you, sir. Oh, go ahead. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Alright. Hi. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Wonder if they have any cowboy boots. <laughs> Oh, this is really cool. You know, I wish I looked good in the cowboy hat, but I don't. <laughs> I really, really don't. Okay. Let's see it. NG, man. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> what does that do? Oh, it, it's just for the, for the hats. Just to, oh, to shape them? Yeah. That's, are you going to do one? Uh, yeah. In a while. Can I check? Oh, all right. I was going to say, can I check it out? Because that's kind of cool. Never saw that happen before. So what does that do? Make it a you make it a specific size or just yeah, the shape? Yeah, people want it like opened up or like closed out. I got you. Cool. Like for this one, I'm just gonna put it in a little bit. You think there's enough steam in that machine to actually make a cowboy hat look good on me? Well, yeah. I'm Probably sure. not, right? <laughs> Everybody looks good in hats. You need to find the right one. Yeah, that's it. You gotta find the right one. Shape, color, everything. That's awesome, man. That's very cool. Well, I got to see something I never saw before. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, My name's Jason. Hey, Jason. What's your name? Atticus. Atticus. Very cool. Pleasure ben. to meet you, man. Take care. Nice to meet you. Have a great day. I don't look good in the boots here. <laughs> Dude, I, I, honestly, I tried a pair of cowboy boots on once. I don't know how you guys wear those things. I just want to say thank you for letting us look out. All right. Appreciate you guys. Have a good thank day. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going? I couldn't hear you. It's good. How you doing? Great. What are y'all doing in the valley? Oh, doing our thing, man. How's it going? Nice to meet you. I'm Jorge. Nice to meet you. Jorge. I'm the owner of Tennis Masters. Oh, right on. Cool. We were cool. just checking the store out before. Hey, come on in if you all want to, man. Let's go take a walk in. Yeah, let's let's check it out. Back. Tennis Masters. Yeah. Very cool. I know where you guys are. You guys are pretty famous. That's awesome, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. How's everything for you guys doing? Everything's going great. Looking good. Beautiful day, man. The cold is gone. The rain is gone. No. Yeah, my wife's somewhere out there walking around. I know that's in the McAllen, to the valley place to be today man it's the warmest spot in the country really right? well around That's this true. area right you got to south texas is, yeah you know, or, first time uh no we've been here before a couple of years ago really the first time actually digging our heels in and walking around town yeah, yeah. Well, that's awesome man well yeah. what i do is i sell everything to play tennis pickleball paddle you know now pickleball it's growing like nationwide it's right, the number right. one sport 
I'll say the number one growing sport in the United States. Pickleball. So, yeah, pickleball. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I played tennis all my life and we started with the tennis shop, you know, 20 years ago. That's cool. And now it's like, hey, you know, like pickleball, pickleball. Right, right, right. And they're playing also, but they're playing more in South America or Mexico, but here in the United States, pickleball is like it's growing like crazy. And you do good? You do a lot of business? You, yeah, 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 yeah. We travel, we do tournaments, we do, we got the shoes. In fact, this is crazy because now these, these, you know, ASIC, it's a huge brand. Right. Look what they got. Now they got pickleball. Wow, look at that, man. Yeah. They, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah, so you can tell how big this sport of pickleball is growing and you know, it's like, oh, it's only older folks. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't like, even know how to play. I don't even have any idea what it is. I've heard the name pickleball, pickleball. pickleball. <laughs> you let me know. It's like a little, like a little mini tennis uh, court. Okay. So it's a lot more friendly on your, you know, on your, on your, on your legs, on your, you know, on your knees. Gotcha. So of course it started like, oh, well, a lot easier for older people. But now you go to like San Antonio, Austin, like college kids. And now they're getting hooked and they're playing a bunch of pickleball. And it's like a painted court? like Yeah, yeah it's just like, you know, literally you can, you know, you have a tennis court like this. So if you put it sideways, you can put literally almost four pickleball courts. Wow, pretty cool. And it's like a, it's like a mini tennis. So it's, it's, it's real. And real you use friendly. a tennis ball? No, you use pickleball There's a pickleball. Huh? Yeah, so then it's going to be like this one's over here. Depends on the surface that you're playing. They use more this one oh, I got you. for uh, for uh, for indoor, and then they use this for outdoor. Gotcha. So yeah, so it's just you can hit it hard, and then the kind of the ball stays there. Right on. So, uh, so it's great, man. It's a That's good awesome. it's a good sport. You guys should definitely pick it up. What part of Mexico? Are you from? I was born in Monterrey, okay. which is like two and a half hours from here. Wow. My mom, you know, was born in California, but we played a lot of tennis when I was in Mexico, and then we came over here. And you moved here a long time ago. Well, because I finished school here, went back then it was Pan Am, now it's UTRGV. Gotcha. Yeah, and then. Uh, and I was like, hey, you know, I can sell stuff, I can talk. So we started doing sure, sure, yeah, 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 Instead of right playing on. it, now we get to sell it. Good for you, man, right now. Yeah, like yeah, 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 awesome. yeah, yeah. But I have a lot of respect for what you guys do, man. Right. I was like, y'all come in. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's great because people, maybe there was people out there that didn't know what pickleball. And then maybe they'll see your video like, oh, the cow, there's, exactly a, right. there's a pickleball store in McAllen, Texas, in downtown. Right. Maybe people will start playing pickleball. I hope the Valley, the Rio Grande Valley, takes care of you very well. We so have very, far, so good, man. We have very good tacos. Yep. We have very good Mexican. Food. Well, I got. I actually was staying in the park. There's a guy that lives there. He's like 60 years old. He's a Mexican uh -huh. guy named Pancho, and okay. he invited us over tonight for tacos. He's oh, really? Tacos and tortillas. And so he's he's gonna cook. Yeah, he shot, he went out shopping today. And got oh, so you guys, you guys, you guys gonna get probably yeah. really, really good food. So I'm excited for dinner tonight, man. That's awesome. Sure. You, you can't. Hey, you can't. You, you cannot go any more southern than this. That's I mean, it. The yeah. border is like right there. Crossing over, yeah. it's well, like, we're going to try that too. We'll see. I think you guys going to have a, have a good taco and you definitely got to get a, a tequila. Oh, thank you. Definitely. Yeah, I'll put them on, uh, I'll put it on my, uh, you know, on our front door and I'm going to give you my business card also. Awesome. Again, my name is Jorge, Jorge Bautista. Excellent. And um, I don't know when you guys will cross paths again and come again to the valley, but you never, you know, never know, man. We make these connections and you never know where it goes, right? Yeah. But one thing I'll say, mi casa es tu casa. Igual manera. There you go. See? Appreciate nice meeting you guys. Thank right you so much. Nice to meet you. Safe appreciate travels. You. Thank anything you need, let us know. Right on. I Thank appreciate you. Y'all take care, man. Thank you. You too. Thank you. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yes, sir. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay down here. Huh? We are, man. You gonna be here for a couple days or? A couple more days, yeah. We've been here for a few. Cool, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Mind if I take a selfie with you guys? Not at all, man. Have at it. Why not? Girlfriend's gonna like this. <laughs> She's stuck at home. One on each side. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, and three. All right, keep your eye out, man. All right, thank Appreciate you. It. Have a good one. Well, we had a pretty fun experience here in McAllen, and we'll see you tonight at Poncho's Taco Party. What's up, guys? What's up? I got some of mine, too. I oh, didn't have man. Molly. Yeah, he heard you were going to put it on the door. He said, I got to go get mine. <laughs> All right. People know you guys. The, the guy which was here, yeah. he's like, oh, what's up? <laughs> so there's a really good friend of mine we're talking because we're talking about this pickleball thing. And, uh, and he was telling me, you know, George. All right, we're back at the RV park and we're on our way to Poncho's place. Don Poncho. Yes, sir. You're going to be a YouTube star. <laughs> Look, he got now, this. Now, now, wow! Thank you. Oh, you see, you it's it's, it's Monopoly, but it's McAllenopoly. Orally. It's all the businesses in McAllen. Oh, yeah, okay. isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. It definitely. Oh. Is. I can believe it. I was like, wow. So what look, give you something to do on those hey. rainy days, you know? Where's the baby? Well, it's not ours. It belongs to Bobby. No, you're nice. Good. Your baby. Oh, we oh. didn't bring her. Nice. So this is nice. the chef. Her best side's the top of her head, so. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave that one alone. Thank you. That would be wise. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, knowing Glaze. Knowing Glaze. <laughs> he cooked for like 10 people, 7, wow. 10 people, and he was done in a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. What's the word for hot in Spanish? Caliente. What? Caliente. 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 Okay. Caliente. 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 Oh, Caliente. 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 Caliente.